Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog from Grace Community Baptist Church designed to equip you and encourage you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On this episode, we continue to look at this glorious epistle of Hebrews, and today we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. Hebrews 7, verses 1 through 10. As always, follow along in your copy of God's Word as I read this passage. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham as he was returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, to whom also Abraham appointed a portion, rather, a tenth part of all the spoils, was first of all, by the translation of his name, king of righteousness, then also king of Salem, which is king of peace, without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like the Son of God, he remains a priest perpetually. Now observe how great this man was, to whom Abraham, the patriarch, gave a tenth of the choicest spoils. And those indeed of the sons of Levi, who received the priest's office, have commandment in the law to collect a tenth from the people, that is, from their brethren, although these are descendant from Abraham. But the one whose genealogy is not traced from them collected a tenth from Abraham and blessed the one who had the promises. But without any dispute, the lesser is blessed by the greater. In this case, mortal men receive tithes, But in that case, one receives them, of whom it is witness that he lives on. And so to speak, although Abraham, even Levi, or I'm sorry, and so to speak, through Abraham, even Levi, who received tithes, paid tithes, for he was still in in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Now, this passage begins to really lean into the idea that Christ is greater because he is the great high priest. He is greater than the priest of Israel. And this passage begins to strongly make that argument by using Melchizedek as a type for Christ, as a one who pointed to Christ. Now, the story of Melchizedek that it refers to is found in Genesis 14, and it describes it well in this passage, summing it up, that Abraham met him when returning from the slaughter of the kings, this great battle versus several kings um, that were gathered against him and against his relatives. After he won that victory, he came in uh, and met this priest that was also the king of Salem. And this priest pronounced blessings on him. Now, Melchizedek is superior to the priest of Levi, to the Levitical priesthood, for many reasons. And this passage shows that that points to Christ being superior to the priests of Levi. So how in this passage is Melchizedek a type of Christ? Well, first we see that he's appointed by God. The idea that he has no genealogy recorded, that he's not appointed after Abraham as part of the Mosaic law, but he's called a priest of God before there even was a nation of Israel, shows that he was appointed by God. We also see that Melchizedek received offerings, that he received offerings, a tenth from Abraham. And this points to this idea of receiving offerings, which also was present in the priest of the Levitical priesthood, points to the role of mediator. The idea was that they would take these offerings and present them to the Lord on behalf of the person who was offering them. So Melchizedek, in his role of mediator, points to Christ, who is the great mediator. It also shows that he is a type of Christ in the fact that he pronounced blessings upon the people of God. Melchizedek pronounces a blessing in Genesis 14 on Abraham. And of course, Christ is the ultimate fulfillment of all blessings, the ultimate blessing of God, because he provides the blessing of salvation. We also see that Melchizedek is a type of Christ because he's a kingly priest. The Levitical priesthood had no right to kingship. They were not kings. They had no royal authority whatsoever. But uh, Melchizedek was a king. And uh, the author even points out that his name means righteousness and his uh, title, King of Salem, means peace. So he's this king of righteousness and peace. And of course, Christ is the greater fulfillment of that. 
He is the ultimate king, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He brings righteousness. He brings our peace with God. So Melchizedek in his uh, type-anti-type relationship points to Christ in that he is a kingly priest. And then, of course, the ultimate way that Melchizedek points to Christ is that he lives on. Now, in the case of Melchizedek, this is uh, figuratively. It's basically saying his death is never described. Therefore, he kind of lives on as a priest uh, perpetually. He didn't literally live on, but he does so figuratively. Of course, Christ is greater than Melchizedek, the greater Melchizedek, because he lives on literally because of the resurrection from the dead. So here, the author has used this example of Melchizedek, who was superior to the Levitical priest, the Levitical high priest, to show that he points towards Christ, who is the even greater. So here we have Melchizedek the type, who is greater than the Levitical priest, who points to the great high priest, Jesus Christ. We're going to continue to develop this idea of Christ as the great high priest over these next couple episodes, but I hope this has been an encouragement to you today to see that Christ is greater and that Melchizedek, this one who was the king of righteousness and peace, who lives on figuratively, who received offerings in mediation between Abram and the Lord, and who pronounced blessings on the people of God, points us to Christ, the ultimate kingly priest, who provides the ultimate sense of mediation, being the mediator between God and man, who provides the ultimate blessing of salvation, and who lives on eternally because he overcame the grave. Christ is greater. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.